I imagine it's not in the script, but I had imagined that they've been doing it since they were children. So in school, if one of them was in trouble with a history teacher and one was better at history, could you go be me for history or whatever? Because maybe they're in different classes. So it's something they've done their whole life. So for them, it's uh, like, right, you know, second nature. Um, but that was, that was fun. Rachel, my first question is for you. Since you've had a lot of time to think about it, I was curious, what is the first thing you'd do if you found out today you had an identical twin? What's the first thing you'd do with them? Oh, <laughs> go meet them and say hello, I, I, I think. Yeah, go for a walk. It's always a good I'll, way to get, get to know them a little bit. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And then, um, Alice, my next question for you, you know, I read uh, in the press as you had never seen Dead Ringers before signing onto the project. So what was your initial reaction to the film? And what was one of the biggest challenges of like updating the Cronenberg movie for like the modern day? I watched it before I signed on. I just hadn't hadn't seen it when they when they, it came my way. I mean, I thought it was incredible. It was a, like it's properly, genuinely mind blowing. I hadn't seen anything like it. It's um, it's such a strange, wild, kind of specific, very specific um, piece of cinema. Um, and I loved it and felt uh, like excited and quite scared about the challenge of finding a new story to tell. Um, and um, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was amazing. I mean, you captured the tone, I mean, brilliantly. I felt like just the wild craziness, the surrealness, um, and, you know, Rachel, that's partly due to your performance, you know, the switch between Beverly and Elliot is, uh, is crazy. Um, did you have like a favorite twin to play on the show? Did you like have one you preferred being more than the other? I can't choose between them. I, 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 I love them both the same in all their glorious uh, fallibility and all their humanness and all their professional brilliance. I, 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 I couldn't possibly choose. But I, I did love performing Elliot being Beverly or Beverly being Elliot. That was that was uh, that was a juicy a juicy challenge and something that they I imagine it's not in the script, but I had imagined that they've been doing it since they were children. So in school, if one of them was in trouble with a history teacher and one was better at history, could you go be me for history or whatever? Because maybe they're in different classes. So it's something they've done their whole life. So for them, it's. Uh, like right, you know, second nature. Um, but that was, that was fun. Alice, did you ever find yourself like kind of maybe getting confused a little bit by the twins or were they, were you ever like, were you just so set in it that you knew off the bat? No, not, not really. Like, yeah, when um, I think they were so different when we were making them and talking about them, we knew that we, we wanted them to be very, very different, that it always, yeah, that the right twin showed up at the right moment on the on the page. Um, some things were harder to write than than others, um, but no, they they were they were so different. Well, that is my time today. Uh, it was brief but sweet. I just want to say thank you so much for your time. I loved the show so much. So uh, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you.